Josh, officials are releasing little information about this case, but two men who live at the residence that was searched say they have done nothing wrong. It's an outrage. Ian Freeman says he is an FBI innocent man and believes the truth will eventually come out. Sunday, local, state, and federal authorities searched the home in Keene that he shares with several other people. He also operates a radio station, LRN.FM, from the home. Freeman claims a warrant from the search says someone from the LRN Internet address accessed a child pornography sting website set up by the FBI. Have you done anything wrong? I, I have not personally, but uh, they're alleging that someone from the IP address here has gone to that website. No arrests have been made and no charges have been filed. Freeman's co-host on one of his talk shows, TJ Park, says between 50 to 100 activists had access to their network over the last year. He says he doesn't know where this investigation will lead, but those associated with the radio station did nothing illegal. We are asking all members of the public uh, to wait for the facts to come out in court. We're sure that whoever did this will be brought to justice, but whoever's guilty, it certainly isn't any members of the LRN radio staff that did this. According to Park and Freeman, in total, approximately 50 computers, SD cards, flash drives, and cell phones were seized. Freeman says he finds child pornography horrific and reprehensible. Park says he stands behind his friend. My name means a lot to me, and I would absolutely pledge my name behind Ian as somebody who has not done anything unlawful or illegal. A call made to the U.S. Attorney's Office today was not returned. Park says that they are exploring getting legal representation. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Andy Hershberger, WMUR News 9.